Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just throwing caution to the wind uh, and I'm going to go at dismantling the uh, Bendix AD2 air dryer that's on the Volvo because um, it really needs buttoning up and going because I'm sick of it being here. Um, I've struggled to find I mean, them. You can buy them on an exchange basis apparently. Uh, you can get them in America. Uh, trying to get one over here is not, well, it's near impossible. So uh, we're going with just taking the thing apart. I mean, it's knackered. So there's nothing to lose by pulling it apart. And if it all goes horribly wrong, it's not really any better off than it is now. Um, hopefully we can fix it up and make it work properly. And then uh, I can video it disappearing out the yard out of my life. So uh, we'll we'll have a go at that. So after um, quite a lot of belting, um, that's the filter canister out of the torpedo. Uh, I have no clue when that was last changed, but I mean, that was an absolute nightmare to remove. Um, I mean, sort of aided by the fact it winds out, but there was so much, you know, just emulsified, oily, damp shit air around it that had just turned into slightly wet concrete. Um, it was, well, just horribly unpleasant. But um, anyway, it's out. So you can get them, I believe, for 150 quid, uh, but you can get them. Um, so that's that's the drying aspect of it. Uh, this is uh, the unloader aspect of it. This bit, that bit, is the heater, uh, which isn't connected to anything anyway. This is the unloader. You can get rebuild kits for these for 150 quid, which considering, I mean, there's there's nothing in it. It's a piston and a spring. Uh, seems absolutely outrageous, but I mean that that was also absolutely all the so you've got the the, the air escapes Through the holes uh, and then is exhausted to atmosphere That was so full of crap uh, That I'm amazed it unloaded anything. I mean even, even that I had chisel bits out of it um, It's taken quite a lot of washing out to get it even remotely all of the the actual air outlets in the bottom of it were just clogged, full of shit. So I don't think it's been changed for a long, long time. Um, I, getting the torpedo off the coach would involve uh, taking the wheel arch liner out, which I really really didn't want to get involved with um, and the whole thing's been a nightmare frankly but uh, I did manage to get it apart and having fixed where it was recovered and they pulled the pipe off and stripped the thread I did manage to fix that earlier on in proceedings um, there's some of the crap that's left that's come out of it um, I don't know if you can, well you can, it is pitch black, but it has taken a long time to clean all of that out. And of course you're left with, there's just no room. There's very, very little space under it. Um, but that's now in bits. There's the, uh, the retaining lugs. There's the lower seal, um, which actually, um, I would say isn't bad, but you can see, I think, the whole lip of it is disintegrating. Um, mainly caused by how badly it corroded around the bottom of the torpedo. It was properly rusty. Um, the circlip I've cleaned up. Um, I had to beat that out with um, a cold chisel and hammer because it was so corroded in. Um, but anyway, it's come apart. <coughs> I've stripped the unloader. Uh, cleaned it all out and I think that should be absolutely fine so if we can get a filter the actual the rattling the tinkling noise it was making is all the um, desiccant desiccant I think that's the word um, it's broken up in the filter and it's flapping around in it so 
all things being level hopefully a new filter will fix all that and uh, I can finally finally say goodbye to this thing so it's yet again blowing a gale so uh, apologies on the wind noise sadly I can't control the weather currently um, Maybe one day. So, the unloader valve needs to go back in there. Those seals are a bit tight, and dragging seals is never a good plan. So, I'm going to lubricate them with a little bit of uh, Total Corpse in the OECS. Only the best is good enough. But, and you know, I had it. Um, hopefully, it will just stop me from dragging. Like butter. Now, I have no idea what the torque setting is supposed to be. For this, but it wasn't done up very tight. So uh, I'm gonna, having taken advice from our man Ash, who's done this on the chisel before, I'm just gonna nip it up in advice. rubber seals it should be fine one would hope um, so that I think uh, I don't know if you can see down there or not now it's uh, yeah maybe not I don't know why I did that but anyway that should be okay to go back on now which is nice um, I've got a new filter got a new seal for, for here so uh, we'll chuck it back on the bus and see what occurs. Now the more observant amongst you may have noticed that the stud on the new filter is somewhat longer than the stud on the old filter. Uh, I'm told that that makes no difference, it'll just go up into the void in the top of the torpedo. Um, I believe that the shorter stud was for the AD2S, which was um, exactly the same, but shorter. Uh, which I believe my best mate has on his Titan. Uh, we'll be finding out at some point soon because I've got to do that one as well. Um, so hopefully that will wind in. I'll give it a whirl. If it doesn't, then I'll cut the bloody thing off. So method as before. A little bit of lube. the thread and hope it winds up this could take a while because it's a really long stuff
Most difficult bit of that was getting the snap ring in, and um, it's not that the snap ring was, you know, it's a snap ring, it's more there's just no access in it. Um, it's really given that it's so low to the ground, um, you can't really. Get under it, and when you live on your side, you can't really put any effort into you know, um, leaning on it, it makes it a bit difficult. However, Apparently summer. Um, allegedly, still want to uh, remain unconvinced. I can't remember how big that union is. Fifteen, I reckon. Yeah, I do. in it. And the wiring for the heating element is still there, but it's been disconnected. So I'm not going to plug it back in because I doubt it works anyway. And I'm not getting involved in that. times before, fire it up, let it tick and see if it works. So I'm not going to bother boring you all with uh, yet another startup of this thing, because um, we've been there and done it all before. 
this is the longest period since the engine's been in it that it's not been started. There's no reason it shouldn't. Um, needless to say, if anything particularly exciting happens, I will edit that out because who needs excitement? You know, finding that right level of quite dull, not too exciting, but not so dull that you lose the will to live completely. Um, so uh, there is no air in the system. The whole system is devoid of air. I've had all the plugs out of it. Um, it's going dark. It's probably back to piss thing. But I'm going to fire it up and let it tick. And I'm not going to give it any throttle. I'll let it do what it needs to do. Uh, because if you give it a load of throttle, it didn't tend to piss air out of the, uh, the governor on the compressor. So to test the, the AD2, uh, I'm just going to fire it up and let it idle. Uh, I'd be surprised if it was less than five minutes. Um, but we will see if it works, you know, or not. If it doesn't, then it will be a gallon of petrol in a match, I think, because um, I'm, I'm pretty sick of this thing now. Um, if it does work, then hopefully that is, apart from two tyres on the front, which I don't have, so I can't fit. That's the end of it. So the battery's been on for six minutes, so it's been idling for probably about five. Uh, I've not blipped the throttle. There is, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but no air leak. Well, that said, you won't hear it, because there isn't one. Uh, the air's built pretty well. I'm kind of hoping it might unload at some point. Um, it's not quite there yet, but it's not far off it. But it's no longer pissing air out the governor, so... Uh, and the tinkling noise is gone. The air dryer doesn't appear to be leaking. So all we got to do now is hope it unloads. Which... You know, it can do it any point it feels like, any time of the day. You've got all day. Unless it won't unload and it just goes bang. I mean, it could do that. They are uh, typical Volvo gauges. It's, I mean, it's not far off unloading if it's going to. Um, no tinkling, no leaks. Oh. I mean, sometime this week would be nice. Go on, and load your bastard. Go to the pub. Hey. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's just blown all the shit that was on the floor out of it all over me. Nice, thanks. That would be its parting gift, plastering me in shite. So happy days, it works. Woohoo! Um, yay! For those still interested in the bird shit situation from the flying bastards, um, needless to say, normal service has resumed. Uh, it's yet again absolutely covered in it of course what makes it worse uh, is that next door there is uh, a very elderly oak tree which i think is six or seven hundred years old so um it's got a preservation order on it so i can't you know knock it down kill it with diesel burn it <clears throat> chop it back but it overhangs the drive um, and thusly most of the year 
when the car's not getting covered in bird shit, um, it's getting covered in bits of oak tree uh, and indeed tree sap, um, which is why I sort of need to wash it every bloody day because of course tree sap is horrible and sticky and horrible. Um, and given that the, uh, as I'm sure anyone with one of these things will know, the window regulators are a bit Michael Mouse. Um, and of course it sticks to the glass and then if you try and put the windows down or up, um, it drags, which puts quite a lot of load on what is already a very crap window regulator. So uh, every time I go out in it pretty much, I've got to wash the bloody thing over. Um, I should be washing it before I head off in a moment so that tomorrow it can be uh, covered in shite again. It's, um, there we go. It's, um, that was uh, that's another story for another video. But uh, yeah, pipes from Baker BM, which cost more than the bloody car did, and one of them, one of them was an inch short, which lives down there. Um, but anyway, that's another video for another day. Um, I need to do. Uh, I have bled it, but the heater's still, it runs hot and then it gets cold, so it's obviously still got air in it. So that is uh, the next job when I'm back at the weekend.